és my father Lord. In Jesus name. We are here. Not just to praise your name. Because you have seen our situation. There are needs. Poverty. Sickness. Sadness. Destructions. There are a lot of problems among your people. And how, my father, how someone that has been in the deep pit can glorify your name? Is it possible? Is it possible, my father? Oh, my Lord, I know that's not fair for someone in deep pit glorify your name. So, my father, we are here also, and first of all, to seek your promises, to seek what you have promised, my father. So, with this new house for your glory, we do want your people be or have a, a brand new life, my father. New family. We want your people, my Lord, glorify you, not just words or songs, but with their whole life. Ah, my Father and Lord, please, look at us. Look at people right now. And church, And come down, my Father, and touch them. Touch them. Transform their lives. Transform their families, my Father. Do something great, and they will respond to you with the glory. Oh, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, we ask you for this. And everybody say, Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Listen to me, please. This is the most important thing in your life. I don't want you to feel good here, happy here, glad and when you leave the church your life be still still the, the same life I don't want it you have to have faith to face your problems not just here but also and much more outside when you are among your families, your friends, and so on. Listen this word. The angel of the Lord came to Gideon and said, The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. How many pastors have said, God is with, is with you. And you say, Amen. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But after that, you still have the same problem. Hungry. Unemployment. Etc. 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 But Gideon was a 
an intelligent man and had an intelligent face. He said to his Lord, Oh my Lord, if, if, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? Can you understand? Can you open your, your mind and see what this man was doing before God? In other words, Lord, you are with me, so why? Why am I poor? Why am I hungry? Why am I have a miserable life? Why? Why? Why this? Why that? If you are with me, something has happened in my life. Otherwise, I'm going to follow my, my way alone. Is that right or not? Is that right or not? Be frank, my friend. Be sincere in your faith. You cannot accept this situation, believe in God. If God is with you, something has to happen in your life. If God is with me, something has to happen in my life. Either he is with me or he is not with me. I cannot live with illusion inside my heart and live in a bad life. Oh, God is. Either God is or God isn't. Is it right or not? So that's why you must understand that faith without intelligence is nothing. Absolutely nothing. 